Hello everyone, I'm Dave Garrett. This is Lessons in Leadership, another video just for you. And this time what we're doing is we're talking, continuing to talk about change and growth and success. And success in 2021 or any time after that is going to involve change. And change has its ups and change has its downs. But guess what? We need change. Change is necessary. We both need it. We both need the change. We both need change. Um, failing change we're not going to go anywhere we're going to just sit in there spinning our wheels and we're going to why is this always happening to me and we get that victim mindset why because it's an easy thing to do and then we start blaming others because it's an easy thing to do but with change and we accepting change and we're acting on change and we're making change happen and we're bringing change to our lives we stop playing the victim we start playing the victor we stop blaming others and we accept our responsibilities and i'll talk about that more later on but for now, in this episode, the fallout from change. Expect these five things to happen as we're changing. And these are this is fallout. This is this is some of the not nice stuff. Others, number one, others will be intimidated by your willingness and wanting to make change happen in your own life. They're going to be intimidated because those are the ones that for so long held power over you or believed that they had power over you. They're going to be intimidated. To the point that they're going to wish you ill will. To the point that they're going to say, I hope you fail. And then you'll know and you'll come back crawling to me. And it's like, that's nonsense. And sadly, sadly, that's, you're going to hear that from the people closest to you. So be aware. Be aware. Be advised. Just understand that this is a natural fallout. Especially by those individuals that were intimidating you or you were intimidated by them and they knew that. And... They basically had no respect for you if, if that's how their relationship was. They had no respect. And a lot of times it's because they don't know better. That's fine too. But understand that the moment you decide you're going to start acting on your own, you're going to start doing things for yourself, others are going to be intimidated by that fact. And there will they will wish you ill. Guaranteed. Number two, people with different mindset will leave you. People you knew, friends relatives, peers, other people that you had some kind of social interaction with and their mindset's a little different, they're going to leave you. They're going to realize, wait a minute, this she's not going to take my BS anymore. Uh, I better go find somebody else who I can BS all the time. Uh, it happens. It happens. And, and I've got, I had once what I thought were great friends. Obviously, they're not here now, so they're not so great friends now that I've decided to chart my own path. I have one. I had one friend many, many, many years ago who really, he got married because his mom told him he needed to get married. And then he got divorced because his mom told him that's not the right person for you. And I hate to see what this guy's doing. I just, this way, because again, his path was different. His mindset was different. Mine was changing. I had just written the first book and he couldn't deal with it. He couldn't wrap his head around it. And so, you know, power to him. Kudos to him. I hope he's in a better place now. But if not, well, you did it to yourself, buddy. You did it to yourself. So again, people with different mindsets are going to leave you. You're going to separate yourselves from that. Some of those closest to you will find the change not to their liking. And it's kind of like I mentioned, they're, they're going to be intimidated. But now I actually get to the point of those closest to you because they're going to start playing the well, you owe me something, or I'm so-and-so, you should be listening to me, I'm so-and-so and I need something, or you know what, we're family, so you know you should really tone it down because the family doesn't like it. And no, no, because if they're telling you this, they don't have your best interest in mind. What they have is their own interest in mind and how they're going to look towards to others, how others are going to see them. Well, there's a so-and-so and, and look, Look what Dave's saying all over the internet and how dare he? Wow, his family must be ashamed of him. It's like, you know what? The family's not paying my bills anymore. So again, some of those closest to you will want will want you to find, um, well, well, they're going to find that the change that you're going through is not something they like, not something they appreciate, not something that they want you to keep doing because it's going to make them look bad. And buddy, it's all about you, not them. Number four, there will be those that will root for your failure. As I mentioned, yes, there are going to be people that are going to, I mean, you're going to have trolls. You're going to have haters. That comes with the territory of being online. That's just there. 
And again, their lives are minuscule, their lives are minimum, their lives are whatever, and they find solace in belittling others, that's fine. More power to them. More power to them. Uh, I posted something not so long ago in an NPR, NPR National Public Radio comment thread, and and uh, oh my God, it was interesting. It was eye-opening just how quickly these people would jump in, not knowing me, but yet knew me. You know, and, and it's one of those things. So you're always going to find those trolls, those haters, and they're going to they're going to root for your failure. They're going to say, oh, you're going to fail. More power to them. But that's your motivation to prove them wrong. Why? And again, it's not about, well, you know, you shouldn't have to worry about what other people think. No, you should. You should, because if they're rooting for you or against you, guess what? They're thinking about you and they're listening to your message and they're trying to process what you're doing. And then I guarantee you, once you become a success, those those haters, those trolls, those people that wished you ill will are going to do this. They're going to put that hand out and that's the first thing they're going to do. It happens. So be careful. Be careful. Just remember that it's going to happen. It's a byproduct of, of life on the internet. But the fallout from the changes, you're going to start to doubt yourself. As you start seeing the successes happen, you're going to start doubting yourself and you're, that's fine. You can do that for five minutes and then get out of it. Because if you don't, if you don't let it go after five minutes, you're going to fall into the imposter syndrome. In, imposter syndrome. You're going to fall into that. And that's not a good place to be because that's even harder to get out of. But understand, yes, you can doubt yourself, but get out of it in five minutes. You can wallow in it for five minutes. That's all I'm giving you. Only five minutes after that. Guess what? The situation is not going to change. You've got to change it. So whether you take five minutes, four minutes, 10 minutes, 10 days, it's still going to be the same after the end of that. So give yourself five minutes and then press on. But do not fall into the imposter syndrome pit. Once you're in that pit, it's hard to get out of. You can get out of it, but it's just going to be that much harder. It's going to set you back a while. You got things to do. You don't have to worry about doubting yourself. You made that plan for a reason. So let's get to work. Everyone, I'm Dave Guerra. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. And uh, if you like what I had to say, go ahead and hit the like button. Subscribe so you get more uh, notifications. You get you don't get notifications so you hit the bell, but subscribe. That way you get all the latest videos as I upload them. And uh, again, leave comments down below. I'm Dave Guerra, author of The Walking Leader and great to follow. And this has been Lessons in Leadership. And until next time, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. We'll talk to you real soon.